this tool is kind of weird it has uh, it's very sensitive um, <coughs> and it requires a lot of um, like trial and error let me just go full screen and um, for example like it works on one part and it doesn't work on other parts so you probably need to do several uh, time do it on several times and you know um, uh, erase the parts that you don't need and you know uh, and stuff <coughs> okay so if we uh, I think it takes time to play around with this uh, but let's just uh, remove this for a sec and Okay, have a uh oh, there are also other ways to um, to extract out the these. For example, um, I've copied the exact same one. Let me just uh, hide the other ones. So this is a copy of this. Let's just uh, mm, rename and. Um, you can also, uh, for example, uh, make this a a um, just desaturate this. Uh, you know what? I don't need this uh, adjustment, but um, make it make uh, make it so contrasty so that you can easily select just the the white mm, something like this and you know copy it into a uh, select uh, select everything uh, do a copy uh, paste it on a on a channel and you can select uh, a, the white parts this way and by doing so if we go level and then we Sort of like uh, reduce, reduce this. See how I I start to pick some. You know, thi this takes a really long time actually to remove this. I think I spent a good um, two days just to uh, make it so that um, it goes from all, all this little, uh, just to remove all those little parts, make the color as close as possible to. Uh, to a flat color and <coughs> it's actually okay to leave uh, some green and a little bit of uh, a little bit of purple uh, definitely want the redness on the nose but I will uh, add you know stuffs up later um, uh, also by doing a lot of test renders to get the 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 texture details okay so um, just to be quick so you see um, this is you know uh, this is a levels operation another levels operation uh, some fixed just you know s this dark so just um, basically like photo photo manipulation just just um, making it so that uh, so uh, also uh, I actually uh, tried blurring all the uh, you know texture details and use this as a base but it, it didn't really work so I remember I decided to use uh, the slightly you know col uh, detailed version but um, obviously uh, the, the thing with a uh, color map uh, color texture uh, it doesn't require as detailed as you uh, you will think uh, it is uh, uh, in my opinion anyways so uh, let's just uh, close this and when I uh, have uh, fixed all the projection up to around that point 
uh, and I began to you know um, see how these teeth are just a uh, flat color with some you know a slight color variation uh, very very simple actually uh, and so there's some you know tweak there and all, all these are like you know um, tweak uh, and you know test rendered so it's a it's a time consuming process definitely um, you know the the lips the top lips and the lower lips so I can um, so I can uh, control uh, each uh, individually uh, tongue here also there's a bit of a shadow highlight uh, operation going on and then um, you know some redness going on very little uh, uh, let me just uh, if I can get the cut uh, so this is the color I, I'm, I'm color picking and uh, it's a very subtle uh, tone and it's overlaid if I go normal I guess it's more obvious but um, just keep uh, say for example this is a color and it's there you go it's clear now I, I hope the recording can capture it but I def definitely for this one but you know um, all these started with like you know uh, just uh, subtle changes uh, some are definitely uh, more mm, uh, obvious, like for example this part, just to darken up the uh, part of the color, and all, all this de uh, you know detailing is done in in Photoshop. <coughs> okay, some redness here and there, you know. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't have to be sharp actually if you make it sharp it looks uh, n not realistic so see how say for example this uh, you know red blemish thing here it is like you know like like probably this one and this is already you know the strong one uh, as a matter of fact I think the bottom uh, projection is picking up that part right see how it's near uh, the smile line so um, that's where the, uh, the the projection also helps in in um, in uh, you know adding some details but definitely um, uh, it's blur. Uh, it's it's not uh, sharp. It doesn't have to be. Mm. Like for example, that one is as sharp as that. Even though it, when when we look at it uh, here, it looks like you know already super sharp. Like somebody poke a hole there. But uh, that's I think uh, one of the key. Don't over. Uh, do the texture uh, in terms of the sharpness and detail uh, but of course uh, but at least this is um, my understanding of it <coughs> excuse me uh, have also definitely very important um, color uh, variations like uh, one second uh, let's just go to the uh, color variation slightly later this part just uh, some uh, spots added see all these uh, and um, the scalp the scalp has also some uh, this is a see how this has uh, like an imperfection um, skin that uh, I'm not sure how to call this but um, oops it's this one so uh, 
as I mentioned in 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 the first video, I was uh, I was referring a lot f from from this just one photo. So um, and I got a, a pretty big one. Uh, so uh, I refer pretty much just for for this photo on on the texturing detail as well. And of course, I took some you know uh, liberty to to change stuff uh, accordingly some veins okay this is the vein uh, I like to make it sharp I want to sort of like exaggerate it so that if probably somebody uh, notice it and uh, but it doesn't really end up that noticeable in the render anyway uh, but it's a good it's a good thing because um, you don't want uh, you know something really uh, stood out and make it you know uh, grab attention too much that pulls off the uh, the realism right just a little uh, color there for the tear duct the eye corner and um, this one I did also uh, the tongue color correction is very simple uh, you know um, contrasts uh, desaturate that's it um, yeah I was saying um, definitely uh, pay attention to color uh, variation as well as details like for example notice um, this part has a bit of a greenish tint so here we have slightly greenish tint <coughs> here uh, normally uh, f for people who has a shaved head or you know sh shaved they, they will change color the skin will change to a more uh, you know grayish so I also have that even though here definitely it's not that obvious so um, you know improvise and think <laughs> I guess and uh, what else uh, definitely for eyes they are warmer mm, also have some you know veins there I guess uh, I, I was looking also for for other uh, photo references like like uh, f you know uh, high-res pictures from 3d SK or uh, somewhere else and I try to incorporate some other stuffs into because I think uh, definitely eyes are important so um, mm, like those spots I probably just add those up uh, some places need to be exaggerated and some need to be pushed back uh, but basically that's it uh, for uh, texturing extremely simple but mm, of, of course time consuming because pretty much uh, you have to do uh, test renders and and a lot of them and you know um, uh, have a clear uh, direction mm, remember the map then I think it's it's it makes uh, life easier. Otherwise, you'll be looking at hundred hundred photos and uh, not being able to decide what uh, what you want, and probably just end up either adding too much or end up adding too little. But anyways, um, that it that is it for the the uh, let me. Uh, okay this one that is it for for the color map like I mentioned it's 8 bit yes 8 bit RGB ah yes this uh, bump map um, I created a uh, uh, I changed I copied the uh, the bump uh, grayscale and um, just make it a soft light with a very low opacity just to push in some of the crevices uh, uh, definitely this is this is used a lot in like game textures but
to be honest in a in a high polygon um, models uh, is not you can you don't have to do it that obvious because it's in the model uh, anyways uh, it helps to add some uh, you know uh, text imperfections as well uh, so that's it and um, you can see here the bump app is converted converted from a uh, from the displacement map that was uh, extracted using ZBrush uh, the displacement rollout uh, with a, hi a highest DP suffix this one's uh, 16 bit by the way and this one uh, at 8k rest with a with a with the DP suffix of 4 I think uh, it was pretty slow I, I remember I left it for lunch and came back probably 40 something minutes it took 40 something minutes so just uh, but uh, I just you know thought uh, I wanted to try to preserve as much details as possible so you know I was hoping um, for uh, uh, the number 4 as the highest uh, will do that because um, I haven't uh, to be honest I haven't figured out how to um, how to do the 32-bit displacement uh, in V-Ray? I read about it uh, using EXRs and stuff, but I haven't um, I haven't experimented with it. So I I'm uh, I already I'm already comfortable with 16-bit uh, uh, displacement. Uh, that's what I did, um, and that's it. And uh, for for this uh, bump map bump map setting uh, in the 3ds max uh, bitmap uh, loader uh, remember to decrease the uh, or just uh, right click sorry I have um, 3d studio max uh, closed because I was having uh, again a memory issue I mentioned earlier so um, decrease this uh, so that you can get you know sharp uh, bitmap uh, and um, we've covered this uh, and that is it for this part uh, we can then move on to uh, the code material and the blend uh, material the blend amount and let me uh, close this and we will continue Let me see if I have anything else uh, unnecessary opening. Okay, so let's uh, continue mm, and talk about uh, setting up the, the blending. And let's just open um, 3D Studio Max real quick. Excuse me. Okay, so um, we'll just, uh, uh, I don't know how um, familiar uh, you guys with um, blending, uh, to be honest I don't use it that much, I still use the old like you know bland material, the 3D Studio max uh, default one but anyways um, uh, there are some stuff that I guess I can share mm, let's just let 3d studio max load oh it is loading okay um, let's just open up the the little file this one I guess uh, lighter um, right if we drag this over and you'll see it's it's a fall off map looks like nothing but it's uh, it's a fall off fall off map right uh, you can get fall off map either you know hitting this somewhere in here or just uh, get it from this get material and then go maps uh, either way, so it's a fall off uh, map that 
that is, uh, you know, um, instance from here uh, to here, and um, this uh, I refer back to um, Adam Lewis's um, uh, thing here. That uh, uh, let me see. Okay, so it's this one. So uh, uh, in this part, um, I was pretty much um, I was pretty much uh, copied he, he, uh, his uh, settings. So um, I was uh, I was learning as well. So you know, <laughs> mm, it's a never-ending learning process, I guess. Uh, but anyways, I was uh, I learned from from this setting how to how to set up the fall off but mm, change uh, the fall off type to Fresnel from the default one uh, and leave this as default I think uh, this is by default is off as well um, and then here in 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 Adams um, in Adams uh, uh, screenshot there it says one so uh, I ended up um, changing the co the, the value because um, he mentioned in uh, let me see he mentioned that there are no strict rules when setting up fall off so uh, Uh, hold on. Okay, there you go. This is the word from the man himself. Uh, there you go. This one. There are no strict rules when it comes to setting up uh, the fall off, as in real life materials don't uh, have uh, linear uh, fall off and stuff. So, so um. Oops. Where did that go? Okay. So uh. When I first uh, when I first started uh, before doing all the test renders, uh, this was set to one, uh, and uh, the bar the, the the side is definitely a uh, hundred percent there. So um, also in my mm, sh in my sh shader setup uh, screenshot. Uh, I mentioned if it's, I mentioned uh, if it's hard to visualize how the the fall off looks like. Uh, there's a trick that you can do. Uh, just uh, I don't know, get a V-ray, just a uh, regular V-ray material. Again, I can't uh, right uh, double click there. It's weird. And just drag this into the diffuse slot, and you can visualize this better uh, for example uh, you can also play with the curves mm, this way for example and there you go and you start you start to see uh, that for example there you go you get or you wanna like you know really sharp ones but Anyways, um, play with it. Um, obviously, uh, this is like you know scene dependent. Depend on what you need. Th it's not set in stone, right? So uh, that is the one way to visualize what what this curve uh, and uh, this fall off thing is doing. <coughs> and um, uh. Continuing, um, th since um, the blend <coughs> uh, fall off, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the the blend fall off is um, you know controlling the the uh, the coat material. So um, let's uh, let's talk about the uh, the 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 coat material itself, which is just a uh, 
regular V-Ray material and then um, and again um, this is uh, initially based uh, off uh, Adam Lewis's uh, you know setting so um, let's just use his uh, here that uh, I black fully black diffuse uh, let me just uh, pull the V-ray material out so you guys can see what it actually look like uh, on its own uh, and then uh, if we go to uh, his original setting it's white there's no uh, there's no fall off here let me uh, just uh, do a copy and then uh, we'll clear this for now and then uh, this uh, glossiness number uh, we'll talk about this uh, glossiness part uh, later it's very important but um, I'm not gonna remove this for now and uh, this glossiness uh, value uh, since uh, well now it's it's um, controlled by a map so so this uh, number is null, but uh, if you open the stock um, SSS map, and once uh, if if this um, this setup is successful, um, the blending setup is successful, and excuse me, without. Uh, if it's successful without uh, a map, uh, uh, the glossiness number, say for example, if this here is six and this here is 0.6, it will look exactly identical uh, to the pixel. Uh, the math behind it uh, is, I think, the same. Uh, so. Um, so we'll 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 keep going and uh, we'll we'll copy his um, his uh, settings first. So sort of like a, like a reconstructing, and then um, and then uh, obviously there's a there's a cross there to not turn this on. So we won't. And the I O R here um, that. Uh, remember we if we turn all these off right and there's still IOR here now the IOR is since there's nothing there uh, and then we are blending this so this IOR acts as this IOR now so that is why it's it's circled there and it's important and uh, this is also the it, this is one of the 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 awesome uh, discovery that I think uh, Adam found uh, that he said the SS2 SSS2 uh, the the stock uh, SSS uses a Fong BRDF, whereas the default uh, V-Ray material is uses a Blin. Let's check that out. There you go. It's a Blin. So. That is awesome because I did test and actually the the Fong specular looks uh, better. At least uh, I the wa the look that I wanted uh, I I got it from a Fong, not from a Blin uh, specular. So this is a great finding. So uh, other than that, everything down here I think all is uh, the same no idea why I checked that off but it shouldn't be just it doesn't matter um, and uh, I mentioned uh, earlier that mm, we have uh, if I go back to my screenshot We'll start uh, talking about uh, this one first, I guess. 
So uh, let me show uh, let me show you something uh, that I um, give me one second to to sort of think how to explain this uh, in the best the clearest way. Uh, or let me read this first for one second. Uh, okay, so. So okay, uh, I remember how I wanted to explain this. So uh, going back to to here, uh, you see here I, I put a a note that says um, this V-ray material, the coat material, uh, controls reflection intensity and as well as tint and also a dual uh, specularity. So um, let me just uh, let me just um, explain first the the dual specularity because dual specularity because this is the the simpler one um, this dual specular idea is uh, is from the uh, mantle ray fast skin shader so if you notice uh, uh, the mantle ray skin shader has two uh, speculars one is the is the broad one and one is the narrow one so um, uh, I read uh, discussions. Uh, people were like, um, you know, wishing um, uh, we have two uh, specular layers for this SSS, uh, um, but unfortunately, it's not in the stock uh, shader. But mm, but uh, Adam Lewis uh, actually uh, in his digital tutors. Um, Digital Tutors uh, f uh, file. Um, well, I purchased the digi Digital Tutors um, video tutorial, and inside uh, uh, he included the uh, uh, the scene uh, file, and I opened it up, uh, studied it, and I found his dual um, dual specular setup, with which I think is uh, is awesome. So um, let me uh, explain you. How uh, and again, this is based on uh, on um, Adam Lewis's. So he is really uh, a big influence on at least on this on my version mm, uh, on my understanding as well. So um, the dual specular uh, is mm, basically a a composite. Uh, so if you if you go composite here. Uh, instead of you know like bitmap regular bitmap uh, go composite this is this is like a like a lay like a layering uh, bitmap you know m uh, tool for for layer like you can you can add layer you can you know delete layer definitely and you know this is uh, to load the n another uh, like you know the load to load bitmap this is the mask um, and you know stuffs. Um, go read the manual if uh, it's very simple. You know, shader. Anyway, so um, um, and then um, remember how if we don't uh, have the map uh, texture map slot uh, filled. Uh, then we are only using this uh, glossiness per param parameter and this uh, 0.6 parameter is identical to the pixel with this if this is also 0.6 I mentioned it earlier uh, like that well uh, since uh, we are controlling it with a map and if uh, if the map is just a single layer uh, with a value of 0 0.6 then uh, logically it is also identical with this 0 0.6 uh, parameter uh, value typed in and I did test and it is identical so uh, we got uh, sort of like uh, with a composite if I delete this and it, it it works just as a single layer so almost like just a bitmap uh, loader and that's it uh, with this one so 
uh, when this bottom uh, is the only one active, uh, the glossiness resu result will match identically with the uh, specular glossiness of the uh, SSS2 shader, this one, and also will match identically with this one, excuse me, this one with this one's turned off. So I hope uh, you can f you you're following with me so far. I know this is this is kind of hopefully not hopefully not confusing. But anyways, now that we know that uh, this uh, number is actually this number, uh, and this number is like one specular layer. Mm, that is the the best. Uh, the, the easiest way to explain I guess and the other mm, specular uh, layer which is the sharp one uh, is done by this composite well you know um, initially initially um, uh, I thought my logic was uh, since this is this has a this has a, a, a reflection therefore has a glossiness uh, this um, vir basic very material has a uh, reflection and this um, base of the the regular very fast SSS has also its own uh, specular uh, initially my logic was to uh, was to have to have uh, sorry uh, my logic was to make the dual specular from from one from here and two from here. Y you understand what I mean? Um, because both has. Oops, sorry. Another screen glitch there. So one specular from here and one specular from here, and th that makes it a dual specular. Uh, which is pretty logical, right? Since you have one, uh, one underneath another. So this is, for example, the the da dash the dashed one is the is this one. So you have, you know, first specular, and then the second specular, and then that was my logic. But um, it doesn't work uh, because um, in the man manual, uh, let me just. Uh, point that out real quick um, the manu the manual mentioned there's a built-in uh, for now there you go note that there is an automatic for now falloff applied to the specular component based on the IOR so um, it doesn't work because uh, this one has for now this one has for now and you have a uh, you have uh, you know uh, issues there so um, so uh, uh, Adam mm, figured out that composite method uh, which which uh, this is taken uh, from from his um, you know mm, scene file uh, which I studied and it was the way he did this is to have the the second layer type as screen and just uh, you know uh, put a, a hand painted gloss map there. Uh, this hand painting gloss map I will explain in a bit, but this uh, this uh, is the way to get a dual specular. Um, just like the manta rays uh, fast skin shader uh, uh, and uh, let me just uh, explain to you uh, let me just uh, point you out why butter having this uh, dual specular why is it so so important let me uh, let me just uh, show you real quick uh, for example, uh, an example, uh, uh, an excellent example from Lee Perry Smith. Uh, this one, 
uh, these are a series of um, you know uh, renderings that he did using Arnold skin shader this is I think everybody knows what uh, who uh, what this model is this model is his own uh, face scanned so it's very very interesting so I was talking about um, the importance of um, dual specular so uh, if you look at the di this uh, head say for example um, this you know very uh, soft specular is is the the bottom layer and this sharp one is the top layer it's impossible to and you kinda need to have both uh, sitting on top of each other so just by having just by having a single specular layer uh, you it I think it's not possible to reach this level of realism at, at least in terms of the the specular detail so that is why dual specular is uh, very important at least to me uh, and at least this is how it's it's set up so it's not set up uh, as simple as you know putting one one in in the in the base and the other one in the code base meaning the the SSS and material and the code meaning the V-Ray so uh, material so not as simple as that unfortunately but Adam figured it out uh, so kudos mm, to him and when uh, let's just uh, quickly the the specular map is very uh, the gloss map actually uh, sorry uh, is very simple it's just there's no need to draw details on it uh, I just use uh, like a ZBrush poly paint uh, just you know use very soft brush uh, I want it like you know s uh, sharper uh, well I basically I followed pretty much this one I want it you know more uh, reflection on my uh, nose it you can actually see on the, on the result excuse me that see how this uh, this specular is uh, there there there's specular uh, variation that's what I'm trying to say between uh, say for example the nose a, a and the and the chin for example uh, nose is oilier uh, top of head is slightly oilier than the chin but not as oily as the nose and so on and so forth um, so this kind of variation you need to control with the glo gl gloss map and that's the po the whole point of the gloss map it doesn't have to be um, detailed you just have to um, you know uh, tell the shader uh, certain areas have higher uh, glossiness values certain areas have lower glossiness values and uh, And uh, there is a, there is a, I found a, the a way to to uh, figure out the 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 color value in terms of grayscale. Like, okay, for example, uh, let me just uh, open up a, a notepad real quick, and you we we. So for example, we decided we have a 0 0.55 or 0 0.6. I'll we'll just say, okay. So for example, 0 0.5 uh, as the base, right? And we wanted the we wanted the nose to have, for example, a 0 0.9 uh, um, gloss value. Okay, so. Um how do we and and this uh, operation is screen by the way so it's a screen is not an ad uh, cuz if it's an, a simple ad then in photoshop we can just uh, paint a a value of 30% black and it's done 
but a screen is not a, a, a straightforward uh, ad and that's why I, 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 I write I wrote here that I don't know the math behind the operation screen but after a trial and error actually uh, uh, I figure out figured out that uh, if we need a value of 0 0.3 uh, for uh, for for to fill in this blank, then we will need to first uh, multiply it by two. I, I did uh, this by trial and error, so no idea where the where the uh, times two come from, but uh, it works. So uh, you need to paint in uh, zero uh, sixty percent black. Um, and then with a screen operation it it just uh, it the result will be uh, very close to the 0 0.9 uh, gloss value that you want it uh, okay um, first of all let me uh, let me backtrack a little bit and um, ex uh, and and tell you where does this uh, 0 0.9 value come from for example how do I know I want a 0 0.9 value for for this uh, glossiest part, uh, so to speak, or or the highest the 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 highest highlight, the brightest highlight part? Uh, okay, so um, in order to find out what this number is, is I. Okay, this is what I did. Uh, so this is a. Uh, I was doing this um, test render when I was figuring figuring out what my my you know uh, glossiness value that I like, and this uh, head is that Stanley model uh, with a pure black and. Uh, just uh, just a uh, full uh, specular uh, so something like mm, I just want since I just wanted to know uh, the glossiness value right so what I did is just uh, you know um, make it pure black uh, so that it renders black uh, full specular like this one's 0 0.9 uh, no diffuse as well uh, doesn't show in the in the shader ball let me see what's causing that I guess it's the specular nope Anyways, sorry. Let me let me uh, let me just uh, switch it to a regular V-ray material. Okay, mm so if it's a pure black and uh, and uh, like a like a m sorry, not s fully specular, but you know, this is just what I'm trying to to figure out uh, what specular uh, what glossiness number so uh, a glossiness number of of 0 0.9 so this dash is actually point we can because uh, I don't want to confuse the point with with the with the uh, file extension mm, so this is point 0.9 and keep go this is point 0.2 and uh, let me open Photoshop and um, I can compare it better by switching on and off uh the layer so right so this is 0 0.9 and this is 0 0.2 uh, I'll, I'll I'll show you in a, uh, I'll explain in a bit um, this is ma point 0.95. Okay. Um, 
this is 97 so it's almost near white now mm, this is going down 0.8 so we'll just uh, drag it down like so 0 0.8 0 0.7 bear with me mm, I have something to explain here 0.7 and 0 0.6 0 0.5 and one more for the 0.4 and that's all right so we got uh, all the uh, the grossiness uh, number uh, variations uh, and then um, sorry let me let me scratch uh, what I was saying with this uh, you know f and and go back to this uh, if this is uh, we'll just stick with this color uh, but um, if this is 0.9 and then the on my model looks it looks like that so if it's point 0.8 th it looks like that so this was you know tested mm. and so and so forth if it's point 0.7 it looks like that and uh, as you can see the uh, even in this shader ball preview um, you can see the lower the number the s broader the the specular is and also it gets weaker so see it's broader and it's weaker up to this point it's almost like a like a like a you know like a, fl a diffuse um, not a specular but anyways see how the higher the number the the more intense the reflection is and definitely tighter right but then I found out something um, interesting when you go over point 0.9 uh, which in this case point 0.2 it starts dimming uh, it, it is still tighter but it's dimming see how it's tighter but it dims in itself and at this point it's like it's like you know um, very dim but stay but it's really really tight and um, it's actually uh, what I was looking for so um, this point seven gloss is like all this uh, beautiful little uh, you know specular highlights that I think really really sell the the, the realism um, these tiny ones because uh, most of the the the, sam the renderings that I've seen uh, especially on this uh, thread um, the, the the this thread in CG feedback is like of two years old but still active it is one of the most amazing threads in 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 the in the forum but anyways um, a lot of uh, posted examples um, a lot of are, a lot of them are, are good by the way but um, a lot of them uh, has a broad specular but lacking this tiny tiny um, sharp specular uh, and this is what separates separates uh, um, Lee Perry Smith's um, rendering um, with uh, to a, like a whole different photo realism level anyway so that is how I figure out my number my glossiness numbers what I want how I want it to look like and I definitely uh, my broadest 
my base is like you know this 0.6 so uh, and what I built is on uh, things on top of this one excuse me um picking where I think need this type of highlight and where needs this type and where need this excuse me this uh, much so it's as simple as that uh, so just you know see all these are like you know tiny tiny and see how this is the brightest part if we uh, compare to the final render excuse me let me pause the video real quick okay guys sorry I had to uh, pause the video just now um, so I was saying um, the glossiness map is uh, as simple as where you want um, your specular highlights uh, uh, w where you want it to be the brightest uh, you know the and where you want it to be less um, so this controls just that so um, moving on um, we're almost done with the material the last part is just uh, uh, there's one uh, more mm, fall off that remember I cut it out from 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 this and uh, into here uh, and uh, I'll brought it back in in a bit but let me uh, let me show you uh, something uh, well we don't need this anymore so mm, we don't need this anymore so uh, it's this one right mm, sorry not this one um, by the way um, oh okay it's these ones so uh, I was I was um, s setting up the Fresnel uh, reflection uh, with the with these uh, test renders and what I mean is uh, after I set this Fresnel blend with a default value of 1 to 255 there as you can see uh, default 1 2 5 5 Fresnel there so this at this point it uh, it's it's identical to um, Adam's uh, setup and then uh, I was playing around with with this number by increasing it so I ended up looking uh, having this uh, and then I went further by increasing this to 20 and that's what I got so I got um, a brighter um, a brighter uh, obviously but also uh, a more uh, uh, sorry in terms of spread because if you can see um, for example if I if I just uh, increase this you can see that uh, it gets sorry uh, sorry scratch that let me uh, let me rephrase that so um, I was I was playing I was testing the the Fresnel uh, the blend amount uh, for the front and uh, at 20 and then um, I realized uh, I was I, w I realized I was controlling the uh, the, the brightness right but then uh, I also found out that um, that uh, if I turn this down to a from a pure white to a 30, and then I get that, 
which is that uh, a dimmed, uh, much dimmer uh, uh, reflection. And so uh, I crank this back up to a value of 30 uh, 45. Uh, and because you know, obviously this is this is way uh, over. And I arrived at a value that I like, which is a ter uh, 39. Mm. Well, I guess 40. Then probably, you know, I hit like something like that. Anyways, um, this is just a uh, you know number that uh, I I did test with. Uh, excuse me for one second. Right. So I was saying. Um, uh, I got this uh, value to 39, and then um, I was I was happy with this uh, the way the uh, the spread and the intensity I think is nice. And then uh, a few seconds later, I realize I'm getting this black outline. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Um, if I open this file real quick and uh, open this. Uh, with a Photoshop like so and if I uh, compare it to to this one where uh, let's just go normal like like this one uh, the default uh, the default one uh, mm -hmm. just this one mm. So this is the latest uh, test render uh, at the mo at that time. So latest, which is uh, which has which has this sort of settings, right? And this is the uh, the earliest. Mm renders which which is uh, which uh, doesn't have that black outline problem 